Hey guys, welcome to another video. Now this is another important video where I'm gonna be telling you about the universities which have offered you or your friends a 100% scholarship. That's a full ride in the past few years. Now, there's one reason why this video is very, very important. And the reason is that these universities which have already done that for some people, which has, you know, which have already offered 100% tuition waivers to some applicants in the past, they're very, very likely to do that again in this year, in the next year, and the next year, and it's gonna continue like that. The universities don't just scrape off the funding they have if they are used to giving it to people for you know their tuition, if they're used to you know giving excellent scholarships at that university, that kind of becomes the university's re reputation. And that's why more and more people want to apply for it, okay? So um, that's why I actually ran a survey with you guys, and you know the results are out, you guys responded, and I'm going to give you the results in this video because, you know, not everyone knows each other's answers. Hopefully, some of these should help you. It's a very short survey because not everyone was able to have a situation in mind where their friend or, you know, they themselves had 100% scholarship. But even if I think five, six people answer, it's a pretty good thing because you get a lot of university names that you can actually go ahead and consider. Okay, so let's continue doing that right now. So just to begin, you can see over here I said collecting data about universities which have offered you or your friends a full scholarship. Um, and I said we'll publish the list once complete on Biomgrad. So for now, I'm just making a video about it so that you know it's the fastest way to actually get you the information. And right now, I know you're shortlisting, so it should help you out. So anyway, let's actually see all of these responses. I actually turned my internet off. Let me just turn it back on one sec, and it should probably work now. Hopefully, it should work. Yeah, it worked. Anyway, I'll just turn it back off. Okay, so these are the responses over here. You can see over here, uh, the first response we got was by Sid Jen, and they said New York University. Now, they've just mentioned the New York University. While I know that it's extremely unlikely to get 100% scholarship at New York University, that is NYU, um, it is likely for some programs. Maybe you're going for a resource-based program. Maybe you're going for a PhD. It's very, very likely you can get a full scholarship. Then Neil Katie says, University of California, Berkeley, yes. So all the universities which are actually, you know, for instance, this is University of California, right? Like all the UCs, they have funding from the government as well. These are, you know, public universities. And public universities have excellent source of funding. So especially the top five, top 10 universities, they have a lot of funding to give away. So they are very likely to give you a high scholarship, but getting an admit over there is much more difficult. So yeah, that's for sure. Okay, uh, then Pranay Verma says, my friend got a 100% scholarship from GSU. That's Georgia State University. And guys, I know at least three or four people that I've worked with personally. Georgia State University gives a lot of scholarships, not just for you know programs which are um, research-based, but also for programs which are you know not research-based. So you should definitely check it out. It's a great place to be. Um, Georgia State University, of course, in Georgia, and um, you can definitely go ahead and check out some of their programs, especially if you're going for an MS program, they're very well likely to give you a scholarship if you have a good academic credential, okay? All right, um, Pritika says Auburn University. Auburn University, I'm not really a big fan of. You see, it's not a very good university according to me, but if you're just looking for funding, it may be a good place to actually go ahead and apply, okay? Then another person over here said, University of Windsor, one of my friends pursuing MSAC got scholarships from Ontario. Okay, so I'm not sure if he's um, referring to just one university over here or two, but University of Windsor, again, one of the best universities in Canada. You can take a look at them and, uh, you know, you can, you can go ahead and take a look at the universities in Canada right over here and you will find that Windsor actually probably has to be somewhere around here. Uh, should have been. Anyway, I'll just search for it. When, sure. Yeah, here it is. So again, pretty good university in Canada, but again, it's definitely not in the top 10, if you wanna say. That's the, that's the criteria, guys. If you are looking at only the top 10 universities, it's very difficult to actually get some funding over there unless your profile is also very, very good, okay? and. If these top 10 universities are public universities though, then you have a little bit more chance. But you know, even if you're getting 30-40% funding, that's a great thing. I would say you should take it. Anyway, so other universities are 
uh, Pankaj Raj Deo says Creighton University Omaha NE with 1100 per month stipend not NE I think he means Northeastern so there's Creighton University Omaha I believe he's referring to University of Omaha now by no means are these top universities but if you're someone who has extremely high financial troubles you do not want to take up a loan then it's a full ride guys it's a free degree that you can go ahead and do all you have to pay for is living expenses and maybe your health insurance that's really it okay so i would say definitely consider it now another person over here says usc purdue west lafayette iowa penn state arkansas state offered full phd scholarship now this is no surprise by the way these university names do you think they will offer scholarships to ms students as well i would say no they would not because these are some of the topmost universities but if you're going for a PhD, remember, PhDs are already funded. If it's not funded, it's not a PhD. PhDs have to be funded, okay? So all of these universities are top class universities. And at the same time, they are, you know, offering you a great, great deal. So I would say if you get an admission in one of these with a PhD, that is, you get into a PhD program, you should definitely go. And these are some of the top most universities. If you're applying for MS though, I would say just go for maybe, you know, if you want funding, then Arkansas State is probably the one you can look at, but otherwise other universities will not be very keen on giving you a scholarship when it comes to MS programs, even if they are research programs by all means, okay? Now, Nikunj says, my friend got into Virginia Tech and GWU with 100% scholarship. Okay, so GWU, by the way, for those of you who don't know, it's George Washington University, um, another popular one when it comes to international students. Virginia Tech is a little bit better, I believe, than GWU, especially when it comes to the rankings. So, Virginia Tech is one of the top, uh, you know, you can say top 50 universities, okay, and GWU is also pretty good, and both of these are offering scholarships 100%, you should definitely check them out, I think, okay. And finally, there's um, Syracuse University, kind of says that it offered 30% scholarship for his MS and CS. 30% is also a pretty good amount. Understand this, if you're having to pay maybe around a hundred thousand dollars for your ms which usually you shouldn't it should be around fifty sixty thousand dollars but still you know let's just consider a hundred thousand dollars apart from that you only have to pay around sixty five sixty six thousand dollars when they give you the waiver so it's very important to take into account these scholarships um you already know these names of these universities now some other universities that i can personally tell you from my experience as well now these are of course not judged in any way i haven't really checked them in any way because these this is basically free data that we can provide you that you know all of all of you guys have provided us so i'm just giving it back to you guys so that you know you can see it collectively in one place but some other universities that i personally know is um let me actually type the name over here bentley university you can see this i know a lot of people who have gone to bentley for their mba especially who have gotten a hundred percent scholarship right over here one university you want to check out there's other ones like clemson university they also give out awesome scholarships okay i know universities in texas if you go on to texas and you can get even a thousand dollar scholarship from one of the universities you know thousand dollar tuition waiver the state of texas the rules are such that you will then have to basically you will be eligible to pay in-state tuition and if you're not sure how much difference can be there, there's a huge difference let me actually show you let me just say we're going to tam you let's say mscs program okay and I'll, I'll check out the tuition okay right so you can see over here in-state students pay about ten thousand dollars now this can be for one semester or one year i'm not sure i think it's for one semester and then our state students pay twenty three thousand dollars so even if you get you can get like a thousand dollar scholarship just a thousand dollar scholarship that is it literally well in that case this, you know, $10,000 is what you are eligible to pay for your semester. You don't have to pay $23,000, which is absolutely amazing, right? It, it is amazing. So that's what I want to talk to you about. It's an amazing thing. Hopefully, you know, I gave you a lot of insight into scholarships and how you can go ahead, get a full ride, or if not a full ride, at least a partial ride. You shouldn't have to pay the full amount for your tuition. Okay, um, hopefully I covered all of that. Thank you so much for watching. If you need more information on scholarships, by the way, this is really important. If you need to go for scholarships and you're already studying your MS or maybe you're in a PhD or something, you need more funding. One thing I want to show you is go ahead, 
and check out this scholarships tab on YMGrad. Check out these scholarships because these are amazing. There's a lot of them that universities are offering. You know, there's a lot of them that are freely available to all of you guys. There's a lot of them that you can participate in a competition and maybe you have to write an essay or something. You get thousand dollars for an essay. I think that's a pretty good way to actually get some scholarships, right? So go ahead, check these out. Hopefully these should help you as well. Apart from that, subscribe to the channel if you like the information that I'm providing. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.